Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this big quarter of a circle and within that quarter of a circle, we got a smaller circle as you can see in this figure. And this smaller circle has two tangency points D and E and moreover MN is a tangent to this smaller circle and has a value 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region and I will show you two different methods to solve this problem. One is going to be we will be thinking inside the box and the other one is going to be outside the box and I'll explain to you what that means. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first method and here's our very first step. Let's call the radius of this larger circle as an uppercase R and the radius of this smaller circle I'm going to call lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula and here's the area of a circle formula a equal to pi r square where r is the radius of the circle. So the area of this larger circle is going to become simply pi r where r is an uppercase because the radius of a large larger circle is uppercase r. And likewise the area of this smaller circle is going to be a pi r square where r is lowercase. So thus the area of the quarter of this larger circle is going to be a one fourth of this area. So that is going to be simply pi r square divided by four. Now one more thing, let's do the observation. The area of this green shaded region is simply equal to the area of the quarter of this larger circle minus the area of the smaller circle. And now we know that the area of the quarter of the larger circle is pi r square divided by 4. I am going to put down pi r square divided by 4 where r is an uppercase minus and then this is going to be the area of the smaller circle is pi r square where r is lowercase so it's going to become pi r square and here as you can see this pi we can factor that one out we can write this one as pi times r square divided by 4 minus r square. So thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be equal to pi times r square divided by 4 minus r square and I am going to call this as an equation number one and here as you can see if we can somehow find the value of this r square divided by 4 minus this r square then we will be done. And now in this next step we are going to draw the diameter by just connecting these points d and e that passes through this center and here's our much nicer looking diagram. Now we can see that this diameter DE and the tangent MN are perpendicular to each other according to tangent to a circle theorem. According to this theorem the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees that means they are perpendicular. So no wonder this angle between the tangent and this diameter is 90 degrees. And furthermore we know that the radius of this smaller circle is r and this is r as well. So that means the diameter dE is going to be simply 2 times r. Now in this next step let's focus on this rectangle d. E, B, N. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles each measuring 
90 degrees, the opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So that means in this rectangle, this side is going to be same as this opposite side as well. And this, this side is 2R, so that means this BN is going to be 2R as well. So therefore, DE equals to BN as you can see. So BN turns out to be 2R. Just keep in your mind. And now let's go ahead and connect these points M and B, these one. Let's go ahead and connect these point M and B. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And moreover, this MB is simply the radius of this bigger circle. So now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle B and M. And we know this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case, the longest leg is MB. I'm going to call this leg C. This horizontal side I'm going to call a and this vertical side B. And here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, A is 2. So let me just put down 2 square plus B. In our case, A is 2R. So this is 2R square equal to C. In our case, is uppercase R. So this become R square. So let's go ahead and simplify that one. That's going to give us 4 plus 4 R square equal to uppercase R square. Let me go ahead and divide across the board by 4. So that means this is going to give us 1 plus R square equal to R square divided by this 4. Let's move this lowercase r square on the other side. So 1 equal to r square divided by 4 minus r square. And I'm going to call this as an equation number 2. And now let's go ahead and compare these equation 2 and equation 1. We can see that this equation 1 simply become pi times, we know the value of r square divided by 4 minus r square is simply 1. So that could be written as pi times 1 means simply pi. So thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be pi or in terms of decimal 3.14 square units and that's our answer. And here's our second method. As you can see that this quarter of a circle has been placed in this big circle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this shaded region. And now let's focus on this whole circle. And we know that this line segment NB is 2R. All right. This is the diameter of the smaller circle and then this CB is uppercase R. All right. Then this part, this CN is going to be simply R minus 2 lowercase R. Moreover, this BG is also the radius of this big circle so this distance NG is going to be simply R plus 2R. We are going to add them. So that's going to give us R plus 2R. And here's one more step. What I'm going to do is I am going to put a T point over here such that I am going to connect N and T. Then by symmetric property, this M and this side and this NT, they are equal in length because this Y axis is our axis of symmetry. 
and here is our much nicer looking diagram and furthermore since mn is equal to nt so that means this side if it is 2 then this other side is going to be 2 as well. Now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem and here's our chords theorem a times b equal to c times d where we have these two chords and we can see that a and b are the parts of the first chord and c and d are the parts of the second chord and now we are going to apply the same idea in our example in this case our a is going to be this 2 this b is going to be 2 as well and this c is going to be r minus 2r and then d is going to be r plus 2r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula a in our case is 2 and b is 2 as well equal to c in our case is r minus 2r times d in our case is r plus 2r now let's go ahead and simplify this thing the left hand side is going to become simply 4 and on the right hand side we can see that we have the product of the difference and sum so we are going to use this formula always remember the product of the difference and sum is always equal to the difference of their square so this could be written as r square minus 2r and then square so let's simplify furthermore 4 equal to uppercase r square minus this is going to become 4 times lowercase r square and i'm going to divide by 4 across the board that means each and every term so that is the reason i am going to get 1 equal to r square divided by 4 minus r square and now let's recall our equation number one the area of green shaded region is pi times r square divided by 4 minus r square and we know that over here r square divided by 4 minus r square is simply 1 so I am going to replace this quantity by 1 so that could be written as pi times 1 means simply pi so thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be pi are approximately equal to 3.14 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye